Hey guys, what's going on? This is Igor for Gaming Awesome, and today I wanted to talk about the iPhone 6. The, the game footage that you're watching is a little bit of strike gameplay from Destiny. It's a strike mission where you have to defeat a crazy boss. You get partnered up with two random people, and you go defeat a, uh, a pretty badass boss. Uh, all of the strike missions so far have been a lot of fun. Probably the most fun that I've had even playing Destiny, but that's where the game footage is from while I talk about the topic of today's video, which is am I getting the iPhone 6 so the iPhone 6 what I'm the the situation that I'm in is a little bit weird with the iPhones in general because I got I got Verizon wireless service way back when when they were still offering unlimited 4g lte they no longer offer that so if you went into verizon into verizon wireless into a store today and you asked them to get unlimited 4g lte data a plan they would not be available so um right now they cap it i i don't even know what they cap it at probably two gigs and four gigs or whatever it probably goes up to like 10 gigs um, but I use my phone a lot. Like I watch a lot of uh, videos on YouTube while I'm in the gym and everything like that. Like this, I, I would have gone over a lot of times. There was one, there was one, um, back when it first came out, there was one month that I used something like 16 gigs in one month of, uh, 4G LTE data, which was, uh, which was actually not even probably a pretty average month for me. So um, I definitely need to keep that unlimited data. So in order to do that, what I actually have to do is I have to buy the iPhone or any other phone that I ever want to connect to my service right now. I have to buy it for full price. So the last iPhone that came out, the one that I have, um, probably not the last one because the last one that came out was the uh, the champagne colors for uh, 5C and 5S's and all that stuff. So I have the iPhone 5 and the iPhone 5 I winded up, I think it's the, actually looking at it right now, it's the 16 gig. So this one I believe I got it for like $800 because I have to buy it without a contract, without using my upgrade and actually connect it to my service so I don't lose the unlimited plan. So. As the 6 is coming out, I've been thinking about it and I've been looking at it and I've been drooling over it kind of like most people that probably have an older iPhone because the screen looks awesome. Um, I mean, like I said, I'm, like I mentioned, I watch a lot of videos on my phone actually because I'm on YouTube all the time going through my subscriptions and um, recently I started watching Netflix on it, I started watching HBO Go and uh, it would just be really cool. <laughs> He knew I was talking about it. Hello. Hello, iPhone. Yes, yes. Now shut up. Shut up. I'm going to mute it right now. <laughs> my iPhone actually interrupted my iPhone commentary. <laughs> I see what you did there, iPhone. But anyway, I watch a lot of videos on my iPhone. And I'm looking at the, the bigger screen. And I'm like, that would be really, really cool to have. But recently, all of the news that has been coming out, like the iPhone 6 being unusable after the new iOS 8 update or people that keep their phone in their pocket, which I do all the time. That's where my phone lives. It lives inside of my pocket um, basically 99% of the time when I'm not actually using it. And people just keep it in their pocket and all of a sudden the phones come out bent. And right now, to me, it seems like that's kind of like a deal breaker for me, honestly. Like if things like that keep coming out, because right now I, w I didn't pre-order it, so right now I probably still have to wait like two or three months in order to be able to even get it. Um, so the stock, while the stock replenishes, probably even after the holidays. So I'm looking at the earliest that I can probably walk into a store and just get an iPhone 6 on the spot would probably be at this point, probably in like January anyway, because I didn't pre-order it. So at this point, if I have to wait till January, I might as well just wait because this, the, the six C's or the six S's or whatever they're going to be, they're probably going to come out in like June, right? In like June or May that they usually come out the, the, with the S series in the, in the middle of the year. And then they come out with the next iPhone, like like at the end around I guess September or uh, or October so at this point if I have to wait till January anyway I'm saying to myself well why don't I just wait like a few more months and then they're gonna come out with the six C's and they're gonna fix all of these problems so they're gonna fix um 
the iOS 8 updates and everything like that. They're going to fix the fact that the phones are bending in people's pockets. They're going to fix every single thing that people that are getting the iPhone right now, quote unquote, early or at the release time. But they're basically beta testing them anyway. So I think as of right now, I'm just going to wait. So um, everyone that got it, I apologize if you guys are having trouble with it. Um, but I will see you guys. I will join you. I will join you when the 6S comes out or the 6C or the 6DD, whatever they decide to call it. I'll probably wait. So thank you guys for, um, for being the brave ones and getting it early, figuring out what all the mistakes are. And uh, I'll wait till um, they fix them and uh, I'll join you in a few months. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. As always, this is Igor and I'll talk to you next time.